your girl, Mariana. So it's week 12 and I'm just going to give you in this video some advice to those of you who are thinking or want to do an NSC program. And the, be the best advice I could give is to always be very prepared. Um, it's okay if you're very controlling, like you have to control every movement and whatever, but you should also be very prepared for surprises and stuff like that, like unexpected surprises. Um, so just be very prepared, um, have everything done beforehand. And it's always good for you to have that open contact with the school since before you get there. I was emailing like very early on, like my coordinator for uh, Canadian and Brandon NSC program since summer. Like I was doing it very early on because, you know, I had a lot of questions and I was I, I, at least in my case like I needed to have everything done not perfectly but you know I I wanted no surprises which is inevitable like I had a huge surprise like when was that it was in April like the second week of April I got a really bad surprise about some, something and I had to deal with that and I did it and uh, everything's fine so be prepared, um, contact your coordinator very early on, um, always research like where you're going. In my case, I was going to Canada during winter season, so I needed to, you know, get, you know, winter gear and all that stuff, and I needed to get a huge ba uh, suitcase, which I'm having problems now, could I, because <laughs> like it's really heavy, but uh, there's not much I can do about that. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, that, um, things about passports, like you need to look, look up information of passports, like depending on where you're going, like it could be to Canada, United States or Puerto Rico, whatever like that, like depending on where you're going is the usage of your passport. Like for example, if I had done NSC program to the United States, I wouldn't have needed a passport. I just need my license, but for Canada, um, I just needed my passport because in terms of Canada, some people have to get student permits. In my case, I didn't because I am I have U.S. citizenship, so um, just using my passport was fine. So people from the United States going to Canada, just using your passport to get into the country, you're fine. And especially if you're studying, unless you're studying for more than six months then you have to get a permit. If you're studying for less than six months, you're fine with just a passport. Now, if it's anyone else like outside of United States or Puerto Rico, um, you might need other things in order to get to the country. I don't know because I, I didn't have to go through that. So I think that's pretty much it for like the technical parts of NSC program, like getting ready and stuff like that. Um, something that I should have done is pack lightly like I took a lot of stuff that not a lot of stuff huh. I, I packed things that weren't necessary at the time I thought it would be because um, for me it's like I rather have it than not need it and then the need and not have it but reality was like I I brought up these stuff and I did not use them actually or if I used them once that's a lot too much um and now it's kind of a problem because i bought more stuff as well obviously i've been here for five months five months or more whatever i'm gonna be here for six months or so like obviously you're gonna buy lots of stuff so that was not the best plan so i pack lightly um if you're someone that are really close to people back home like you'll get homesick or something like that you know you'll get homesick like just bring pictures bring memorabilia like um i have like my 
BTS posters and my photos from my friends, photos from concerts, stuff like that. And um, it's a little messy, but um, I have like that line where I have photos of my friends and whatever, and um, just little notes of things I have to do. So yeah, that's always very good to have. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the advice I've got. I hope that was helpful. Um, feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions because sometimes I draw a blank and I just uh, speak about things that I think are important and maybe they're not. So if you have specific questions, you can always comment below and I'll get back to you if I can. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.